Keeping with the fighting theme, Andrew Raycroft joins me now. We're going to play a game of win, draw, or knockout. So I'll give you a statement. If you agree, but maybe there are a few reservations, it's a win. Disagree, it's a draw. We're throwing it out. And if there's no doubt about the win, it's obviously a knockout. It's gotcha. going to be a KO. Gotcha. So let's start with this one. The Bruins, they will take the energy and that momentum from Conor McGregor's visit <laughs> and that OT win and take it on the road and get a new win streak going. That's a win for me. That's a win. That's a win. Yeah. I think Thursday in yeah. New Jersey, that's a knockout. Tuesday night's a tough test. They're going into Long Island, mm -hmm. into Brooklyn against a team that's fighting for position. They have a really solid defensive team. And the Bruins, you know, have played well. You know, they got off their winning streak the other night, had a big win at home, obviously. Everyone had a lot of fun, but they have a couple days going back on the road. So I'm taking that as a win. I think they can pull it out, but it's not a knockout yet. Okay, not a knockout yet. The Bruins, they beat the Islanders twice this season, so once in overtime. The Bees will get the season sweep over the Islanders. So, draw. Draw, okay. Draw, okay. draw. Same reason, you know, it's just going to be a tough battle. And, and to sweep a team that's in the playoffs mm -hmm. is difficult to do in the NHL. Uh, you know, they've got video, the tendencies, and they're going to make adjustments from the last time they've played. Uh, that being said, the Bruins have played well, and, and they need to come out with that intensity like they had and come off and take that momentum from Saturday night. But, uh, again, I'm going to take it as a draw. What if they do sweep them? What will you say then? What will that show you about them moving forward? It, it, again, if they sweep them and continue this streak and bounce back the way they did, this will be a big win. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a tough team on the road. And if they can score some goals against a team that has the best goals against in the league, that's going to show me a lot about the team and the fact that they're over that little streak that they had last week and they're moving forward. But they don't get the cup just yet. You're not no, unfortunately, <laughs> the cup is not won for another few months. <laughs> right, we've got some time. Yeah. Not so much time. David Pasternak could make his return tomorrow against the Islanders, which would be great. If not tomorrow, we'll likely see him at some point on this road trip. Pasta will have no problem whatsoever integrating back into the lineup. That's a draw for me it's going to take a little bit of time and not necessarily for the integration with the lineup with his line mates. Obviously they're, they're three really talented guys that, that will be able to play with each other. I just know from experience and guys coming back from when they put a brace on a knee or a hand or a shoulder, there's going to be things that, that you know, they're really well prepared right now and play in practice and they're working on things, but there's going to be things that come up in the game that they didn't think about or that they didn't plan for that. It's going to affect them and, and whether it's a backhand pass or something that he would usually make a play on, that that brace could get in the way. Okay. So I, I think that in that respect, it's going to take him a few games to really get integrated and feel good about wearing a brace and, and switching things up. Being a that bit. fast pace and it just yes. being so cumbersome. So I mentioned this earlier, the Bruins have a four point lead on the Maple Leafs for second place in the Atlantic Division. There's a very high probability that the Bruins and Leafs, they face each other in the first round of the playoffs. So the Bruins, they will have home ice in that contest. What do you think? It's a win. Win. It's a win. It's two more games and it's a knockout. Uh, you know, if they go 500, it looks like Toronto's going to have to go eight and two. Mm -hmm. uh, if they had the tiebreaker as well, you know, that tiebreaker, get, they only need four points. If they needed five, um, then it's a knockout. But right now, they got to get a couple wins this week. You know, they can't, they can't drop back and, and let Toronto get back closer. Okay, so we don't know about wins yet, but we got to serve up some birthday cake because yes. the Bruins captain Zidane Char, he turns 42 years old today, making him the oldest active New England player that is still playing pretty much and pretty well. So Chara has multiple years still left in the tank at 42. That's a knockout. Knockout. He's That's staying. a knockout. He's got two years minimum, yes. you know, maybe three. That's going to be a stretch. There's, you know, maybe Chris Chellis is the only guy who's played to 45. But, uh -huh. but Chara has gotten over the hump of the game getting too fast for him. You know, it happened a couple years ago where the games changed and really picked up the speed, but he's been able to adjust. And, you know, this season he's been fantastic all year. He got injured, and, and that actually gave him a bit of a breather and a bit of a rest, and now he's ready to go for the playoffs. So I see him playing definitely next year and coming back for that last final year, two years from now. So that is a knockout. McGregor knockout. I like that a lot. Andrew Rico, yeah. thank you so much. You got it. Thanks for having me.